The film starts in Mexico, where a boy named Miguel is living with his mother Rosa. She gets a call from her brother Carlos, who warns her that the cartel is after him, so she and Miguel need to flee immediately. We then see cartel leader Mauricio Guerrero has captured Rosa's brother, since he stole money from them, and he warns Carlos that his family is going to pay for crossing them before they leave his body hanging in an overpass. In Arizona, retired former Marine Jim Hansen is working by the U.S., Mexico border to keep an eye out for undocumented migrants attempting to cross. He spots a few near him and reports it. As he follows, he sees that one is injured and gives him water before using his radio to bring medical assistance. Jim goes home, but he is notified that his land is being put up for foreclosure because of high debt. He has 90 days to pay or lose his home, and he doesn't have many work options either. He lives alone with his dog Jackson, but his closest company is his stepdaughter Sarah, who is a police officer. That pass has kept us busy all week. The cartels are running everything through there. Drugs, people, guns. What else is there? I worry about you. Out there on the front lines all by yourself. It would be fine if the government would get his shit together and figure that mess out. I'm trying to understand how you work your whole life, serve your country, pay your taxes, and end up without a pot to piss in. They are both missing her mother since she passed away, and Sarah takes Jim home from the bar and puts him to bed. When Jim goes to the border the next day, he comes across Rosa and Miguel trying to make it past the fence when Mauricio and his goons spot them. Jim attempts to report them to Border Patrol, but Mauricio and two other men step out of their vehicle. I come here to take the woman and the boy. Sorry, Pancho, these illegals are mine. After realizing that they are a threat, Jim tries to have Rosa and Miguel hide, so Mauricio's guys begin to open fire. Jim returns fire and hits Mauricio's brother, killing him. He gets Rosa and Miguel in the truck and starts to drive away as Mauricio chases the vehicle on foot. Jim shakes him off and gets away. Mauricio is then informed that his brother, who got shot by Jim died. After they get far enough, Jim sees that Rosa was shot. He takes her out and lays her down as she is dying. She gives Jim a bag of stolen money and an address, requesting to Jim that he take Miguel to her cousin in Chicago. Jim then waits as medics and other officers arrive to retrieve Miguel. He is told by another officer that Miguel blames Jim for his mother's death. When Jim sees the money in Rosa's bag, he feels compelled to return for the boy. He learns from someone at the station that Miguel will be deported and go back with a family member, but Jim also sees Mauricio and his men waiting in a car outside. Jim tricks the officer at the front to let him see Miguel, and he smuggles the boy out of the station. Mauricio notices and crosses the border. Jim returns home briefly to get Jackson and his guns before heading forward. Mauricio and his guys make it to Jim's home to gather personal information, and he also steals a marine pin from Jim before they burn his house down. The gang members then set up shop nearby where one of Mauricio's men tracks Jim's credit card information. Jim stops at a gas station and picks up an atlas to get to Chicago. Jim calls Sarah who has also become aware of what Jim has done and tells him to return Miguel, but he stresses that the situation is life or death and that he cannot do that. Sarah mentions how dangerous the people after him are and that his house got burned down. He says he can't return Miguel and that he will call her again soon. He hangs up the phone and they go back on the road. Damn it! Why the hell did you have to cross my property? I don't even want to be in your stupid country. Well, well, well. He speaks. I want to go home. Taking you to your family in Chicago. After that, I don't give a shit what you do. Not long after they leave, Mauricio and his men stop at the gas station where he intimidates the gas station clerk that tended to Jim. He looks at security footage to find him before killing the clerk, and they continue to pursue. Jim's truck breaks down from overheating. He stops at a nearby shop and pays to get it patched up while sleeping in the truck for the night. Miguel takes Jackson out for a walk and uses some money to get supplies. After returning to the road, Jim is pulled over by a trooper who asks him to step out of the vehicle after he confiscates his weapons. The trooper claims to want to talk to Miguel, but Jim notices the man talking on the phone to someone else. When Jim points this out to the trooper, he quickly realizes he is working under the cartel and that he has sold them out. The trooper draws his gun on Jim, but Jackson bites his arm and helps Jim overpower him. Jim knocks the trooper out and goes with Miguel and Jackson to hide as Mauricio and the others come by. After seeing that their targets have fled, he kills the trooper and they take Jim's guns. Mauricio picks up the atlas which Miguel accidentally dropped. Jim stops at a gun store to get more guns. 
He calls Sarah and she convinces him to return Miguel and says she will escort them back personally. Later, Jim stops at a motel for the night after thinking it was safe since he didn't use his card. Later that night, Jim takes Jackson out for a walk and notices Mauricio and his goons killing the motel clerk before making their way to Jim and Miguel's room. He gets the boy and hides after alerting the cops. They hide long enough before the cops arrive, but Mauricio sees Jackson and shoots him before leaving. Jim gets his dog's body and gives him a proper burial in the morning. Jim feels that he shouldn't ever have gotten involved. But he gives Sarah another call and tells her that he intends to see to it that the boy makes it to his family in Chicago and he decides he needs to finish the job. He tells Sarah where he is headed and asks her to buy him a few hours if she can. Sarah reluctantly ends up covering for him when the sheriff asks where Jim is headed. Jim and Miguel stop on the side of the road for the night where Jim uses the new gun he bought earlier for some target practice and shows Miguel how to use it in case he needs to. Mauricio figures out Jim's destination is Chicago through the atlas he found earlier and orders an ambush for Jim along the road. He makes the difficult decision and ends up burning the cartel money which would have paid for the debt he is in and not lose his home. The next morning as they are getting closer to their destination, Jim sees Mauricio and his goons have found them and are getting close. Jim takes an alternative route, but ends up crossing Mauricio's path and they give chase. Jim manages to shake them briefly to give him enough time to get a spot to snipe them. He shoots the driver, killing him instantly and then shoots their tire, causing them to crash before taking Miguel to hide on a nearby farm. Mauricio and two of his men have survived the crash and they give chase. Jim tells Miguel to run if anything happens to him and prepares a spot near the window to snipe from. He shoots and kills one of the goons before Mauricio and the other member open fire at his position. Miguel creates a diversion to allow Jim to shoot the last member before Mauricio goes after them. He finds Miguel and holds him at gunpoint and gets Jim to surrender. He tells Jim he plans to recruit Miguel as a child soldier like he was, even trying to get Miguel to pull the trigger on Jim himself. Using what he learned from Jim, Miguel empties the magazine instead and the one bullet in the chamber is fired but misses him. Jim fights Mauricio. He gets stabbed in the process, but when Miguel gets the gun, he hands it to Jim, and he shoots Mauricio in the stomach. Mauricio gives Jim his medal back. Jim leaves him the gun with one bullet to give him a choice and leaves, hearing the gunshot not long after. They finally make it to Chicago and Jim walks Miguel to his family's house and gives him his medal. He tentatively knocks on the door and his relatives are elated to see him. Jim disappears and in the final scene we see him go on a bus where he notices the stab wounds again. He leans over and closes his eyes. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon.